Audi A6 car status and expensive. But after 5 to 10 years after the start of production, this model goes into the category of affordable luxury. Whether the affordable starting price is fraught with prohibitively expensive service, we will understand in the article. Moreover, there is something to deal with, more than 10 types of engines, many configurations, and a couple of dozen weak points that you definitely need to check before buying a used Audi A6 C6. From the previous model Audi A6 C5, only the suspension remained. Everything else is created from scratch. Interior materials are excellent leather, wood, high-quality plastic. The factory assembly is also not satisfactory, but if semi-skilled specialists assembled and disassembled interior elements, then crickets will be a must. The reason for interfering with the integrity of the cabin may be electronic control units that are located in different parts of the car. Breakage of the climate control servos also involves the removal of the entire front panel. There is no need for additional sound insulation. Inside the A6 C6 you feel comfortable, like at home. Ergonomics are thought out and everything is in its place. After restyling in 2008, the proprietary MMI multimedia control system became available. But, in addition to convenience, it also brought new possible difficulties. The sound disappears, the display goes blank and the buttons may not work. Problems with MMI are not universal, but not isolated. The Audi A6 in the back of the C6 does not rot or rust even in the first years of production, unless it was involved in an accident. The front fenders and hood are made of aluminum and expensive metal with low maintainability. Therefore, quite often after an accident they are changed to cheaper counterparts made of ordinary metal. Such parts are susceptible to corrosion, and how quickly they begin to rust depends on the quality of the paint. Be sure to check the operation of all buttons in the area of U200B U200B gear shift lever. Due to their location, they are exposed to moisture, someone will overturn the glass or leave the hatch open. Gasoline engines on the third generation Audi A6, the range of engines is more than extensive. But in fact they can be divided into two types. Aluminum block with a loosel coating. Cast iron cylinder block. Let's take a look at the first category, 2.4 MPI, the youngest in the aluminum line. Everyone is afraid of scuffing on the walls of the cylinders, since repairs will be expensive. Such a breakdown can only be repaired by replacing the cylinder block or by the sleeve method. The likelihood of encountering this problem directly depends on the frequency of previous maintenance and the quality of gasoline. Power 177 liters with Enough for normal movement without any special racing impulses. 2.8 FSI for unknown reasons, this engine has the least complaints with the same design. Perhaps there are simply fewer of them in the total mass, or maybe the reduced piston stroke helped. But no one cancelled the influence of low-quality fuel and oil on the elusal coating. 3.2 FSI, do not take such an engine if you hear a knock and rattle immediately after starting. This is a clear sign of failure of the hydraulic timing chain tensioner. For repairs, you will have to disassemble half of the car, and at the same time change the chains themselves. Usually the resource of the eternal chain drive is enough for 150,000 kilometers, for 0.2 FSI differs from the previous one only in an additional two cylinders. Which, by the way, turned out to be superfluous. Depreciation of the 7th and 8th cylinders, requiring the replacement of the entire block, is possible after 50,000 kilometers. It is highly not recommended for purchase, especially since there is an alternative, which we will discuss below. 3.0 TFSI, many are tempted by the magic numbers of 290 liters width and 6 seconds to hundreds. Usually the letter T in the designation of the motor means a turbine but in our case, a mechanical compressor is installed. It pulls better from the bottom, eats more gasoline, but is cheaper to maintain. Increased oil consumption may indicate scuffing on the cylinder walls. Let's move on to cast iron blocks, 3.0 MPI, an old style V6 engine, which was inherited from the previous generation in the back of the C5. According to reviews on specialized forums, this is the best motor in the reliability category. It was installed only before restyling in 2008. 
218L with enough for active movement, but gasoline consumption is not encouraging. 16 to 18 liters in the city is practically the norm. FSI motors use less with more power, but lose in terms of reliability. 4.2 MPI similar engine, only V8. With a quiet ride, fuel consumption will be comparable to a 3 liter engine. But if you actively use the gas pedal, then it is easy to fly away to 25 plus liters. The timing drive for these two motors is belt driven with a resource of 100 to 120,000 km true. In order to replace it, you will have to remove the front bumper and much more, so the procedure is expensive. 2.0 TFSI is the only four cylinder engine in the lineup, and the weakest, respectively, 170 liters with. Such power is enough for quiet movement, and strong and frequent loads significantly reduce the resource. In addition, the engine lends itself perfectly to forcing up to 300 plus HPS, which also does not prolong its lifetime. Therefore, the condition of a 2-liter turbocharged engine largely depends on the driving style and bullying of the previous owner. Maintenance is added to the care of the turbine. Reliability 2.0 TFSI does not shine, but due to the simplicity of design and the cast iron cylinder block, repairs will cost much less than the older engines in the line. Based on the above, one might get the impression that motors from the first group should be categorically avoided. This is not entirely true. These engines run more briskly, consume less fuel, but are very sensitive to the quality of service and gasoline. Therefore, when buying an Audi A6 C6 with an all-aluminum unit, thorough and expensive diagnostics are required. The internal condition of the motor, including scuffing, can be determined using an endoscope. Otherwise, the mistake can cost you several thousand dollars. Diesel engines in terms of volume, the variety here is slightly smaller, but there are enough modifications, especially for a 2-liter diesel engine. Diesel engines, with proper maintenance, drive 300 plus thousand km without intervention. The main risk area is traditionally fuel equipment. Now it is extremely difficult to find a C6 with an honest mileage of less than 200,000 km and door styling is almost impossible. Therefore, do not spare the money and time to check the weak points, which we will consider below. 2.0 TDI before restyling, all 2-liter engines were equipped with pump injectors with a piezoelectric or solenoid valve. Both road options are under repair. One nozzle will cost from $700, and the manufacturer recommends changing all four at once. Their average service life is about 200,000 kilometers. During the 2008 restyling, Audi engineers changed the fuel system. After that, all 2.0 diesel engines began to be equipped with a common rail system with high-pressure fuel pumps and piezo injectors. The latter can depart even 300 plus thousand km, but the high-pressure fuel pump is at risk. There are modifications for 136 and 170 liters with. A common problem for engines of both generations is the hexagon of the oil pump drive. Over time, it rotates and the system loses oil pressure. Subsequently, the oil pump itself and the turbine at the same time fail. This manifests itself most often on runs of more than 200,000 kilometers. It will be cheaper to play it safe, remove the oil pan, check, and if necessary, replace the part. 2.7 TDI is already a different weight category in the truest sense. V6 automatically means more expensive maintenance. Although in the horse plan, the difference is not so drastic. From 2005 to 2008, the Audi A6 C6 was equipped with a 2.7 liter engine with 180 horsepower width. And from 2008 to 2011 already modified 190 horsepower width. A fairly common problem is the intake manifold flap. It clogs up and ceases to perform its function. Can be repaired or replaced with a new one. If it is correctly repaired, then the problem will no longer bother. 3.0 TDI A6 C6 owners love this diesel the most. And there is something for Powerful, from 225 to 239 L with Depending on modification Always equipped with Quattro all-wheel drive. 
Average period of trouble-free service with good service 300 plus thousand kilometer cons are the same as the younger 2.7 liter engine. After 200,000 kilometers, the diesel particulate filter may finally become clogged. In this case, the engine falls into emergency mode, with which you will not go far, only to the service. If the soot is less than 68 grams, then forced regeneration can be done. If less, then only a replacement. But in fact, no one changes the particulate filter, it is simply removed. The reason is simple, it is expensive, but only affects the environment. Closer to 300,000 kilometers, the USR valve may become clogged with the same soot, which will lead to its replacement along with the exhaust gas recirculation radiator. Some owners simply turn off the valve to prevent forced repairs. 2-liter diesels were combined only with front-wheel drive, 3-liter with full, and 2.7 liters can be with both. Gearboxes the more the car vomited in traffic jams, the more likely it is that by 200,000 kilometers it will be necessary to replace the expensive dual-mass flywheel. This applies to a manual box, which comes in a single version with six steps. There were two automatic boxes, one, classic and fairly reliable torque converter Tiptronic from ZF. It was installed on the A6 in the back of 4F only with Quattro all-wheel drive. Two, more advanced Multitronic variator with chain drive. Combined only with front-wheel drive C6. Tiptronic is less sensitive to towing, abrupt starts and racing at maximum speeds. But that doesn't mean it's eternal. The manufacturer considers this box maintenance free but practice shows that it is still better to make a partial oil change every 60,000 kilometers with careful operation this can give an extra 100,000 mileage without automatic transmission repair in case of repair there will be no problems with spare parts and specialists but the standard price of the question starts from $1,000 if the automatic transmission is completely left, then the mechatronics unit will have to be changed and the price tag will increase several times. Cheaper to take a used box from disassembly. With Multitronic, the situation is a bit more complicated. It shifts well, does not buggy, and does not push. From a constructive point of view, even reliable. But overheating, overloading, and slipping kill the variator very quickly. Therefore, the frequency of oil changes is critical. The resource of the variator circuit is in the region of 150,000 kilometers, and it is not very expensive. But if you do not change it in time, then the cones will be damaged, the cost of which is off-scale. Complicating the situation is that without disassembling the unit, it is almost impossible to check its condition. At a minimum, there should be no twitching, slipping, or extraneous sounds. All boxes on the 4FC6 are solid, with no obvious weaknesses. But automatic transmissions require a careful attitude, which is not always possible for owners of all-wheel drive autos with powerful engines. Therefore, do not be fooled by the phrases, it twitches between the first and second for everyone or black oil in a box is the norm. Give preference to vehicles with a transparent service history and good general condition. Suspension and all-wheel drive the chassis of the Audi A6 C6 is very comfortable. It is complex and multi-link, but at the same time reliable and strong. Suspension endurance largely depends on the dimension and profile of the wheels. Low-profile tires in combination with a heavy engine can reduce the resource by two to three times. And two wide tires quickly kill tie rods and tips. The average front suspension after repair with high-quality analogs will last at least 60,000 kilometers. The rear one quietly survives up to 200,000 kilometers. The front hubs walk 100 to 120,000 km. The silent blocks of the lower and upper arms are changed separately. With all-wheel drive, care for the drive shaft will be added. It is also necessary to regularly monitor that there are no oil drips on the rear gearbox. It is reliable and very rarely fails, but without lubrication it will quickly fail. You should not buy a car with a completely killed suspension at a good discount, especially with all-wheel drive. It will still cost more than you think. In addition, the general attitude of the previous owner to the car is immediately clear. Air suspension is rare, it was optional and borrowed from the Audi A6 C6 all-road. 
In its native form, maintenance of pneumatics is expensive. But now there are many alternative options for repairing and upgrading pneumatic cylinders and receivers. Steering and brakes with these nodes, C6 is alright. The steering rack does not bother, the power steering pump is quite reliable. In the Audi A6, the force on the steering will varies depending on the speed of movement, and this regulator sometimes fails. We wrote about tips and rods above. If you do not abuse the dimension of rubber, then they walk more than 100,000 kilometers. There are no complaints about the brakes either. If there are strange knocks in the area of U200B U200B rear wheel, check the guides of the upper bracket of the brake caliper. Treat it only by replacing the bracket itself and the guides. Grease and other folk remedies do not help. In the secondary market, sometimes there are a 6C6 with an upgraded brake system. Someone installs brake discs of a larger diameter, and some put brakes from Porsche. On the one hand, this is good the better the brakes, the higher the safety. But, on the other hand, racers usually pay such attention to the speed of stopping the car. And the car, most likely, was operated in a hard mode. A common problem is handbrake failure. But this is more a matter of poorly located wiring than the reliability of the node. The electronic handbrake control wiring is trite. Electrical part this part cannot be checked by eye and which is capable of drinking more than one liter of your blood. Electronic units are located throughout the vehicle and, in the event of a failure, require only qualified specialists with appropriate pay. The banal handbrake repair mentioned above can turn into a price tag of $500 plus. That's including new wiring harnesses and the cost of some pretty complex work. New and original spare parts are inadequately expensive, therefore, in such situations, dismantling is often saved. A used original can be bought several times cheaper, but no one will give guarantees for electronic parts. Several dozen control units, even according to probability theory, will fail sooner or later. The only question is how serious. Some owners have never seen an electrician during their entire operation, and others have already learned how to handle a dealer scanner. Complications can arise by themselves or from unsuccessfully spilled water. There are no special patterns. Before buying, you can check. Efficiency of the rear LED lights, everything is simple, they burn or do not burn. Additionally, you can check the connection connector. If it is melted, then the lantern is unlikely to last long. Check all buttons and functions of the MMI multimedia system. Experience heated seats, even if you buy a car in the summer. The function is not vital, but the repair is expensive. Of course, it's not worth buying an Audi A6 C6 without diagnostics with a dealer scanner with an intelligent electrician. Outcome the car is worthy of attention, but the process of choosing the right one will be long and complicated. Unless, of course, a trusted neighbor sells you a well-groomed copy. In other cases, pay special attention to the choice of the motor and the check of the electronic part. Before restyling, it is better to choose old-style gasoline engines of 3.0 and 4.2 liters or a 3-liter diesel engine. After 2008, it is preferable to choose among diesel autos. Moreover, a car of more recent years is easier to find with adequate and honest mileage. Audi A6 C6 is not a budget car, don't buy it with your last money. Even if you choose the right car, you will need money to keep it in good condition. But in return you will get a real premium car, with the appropriate level of comfort, dynamics, and appearance.